for the truth the girls. Hi everyone. The girls. Well, rumor has it that Obama is holed up in a bunker commanding an army of 30,000 to prepare for civil war. Breaking, Obama moves into DC bunker and prepares for civil war. Okay, uh, if you follow their sources, this will backtrack you to InfoWars. Sabotage, Obama is commanding an army of 30,000 anti-Trump activists from his home two miles from the White House. This army has already been heavily involved in many of the protests and riots. According to InfoWars, Obama is described as being in a bunker. And when they say bunker, I have visions of Obama holed up in a basement somewhere in a room with its own air supply. InfoWars has provided some images of the bunker, which looks strangely like a house. What makes it a bunker is the fact that Obama has put a brick wall all the way around it. So he's holed up in this house with a brick wall. I hope he comes out sometimes for air. But in any case, while in this bunker, he's keeping busy. Where Alex Jones got his information from was this article on the New York Post, how Obama is scheming to sabotage Trump's presidency. This is the guy who first said Obama had troops. And he's referring to the 30,000 people who are members of Obama's nonprofit organizing for action. Now, he started this nonprofit years ago. It's now being run by former uh, Obama aides, uh, for people who were working with Obama. The thing is still going. He's not president anymore, but he's still doing this stuff. And at this point, there are 30,000 people involved in 250 chapters all over the country. As they say here, he's doing it through a network of leftist nonprofits led by organizing for action. And apparently he's using this organization to sabotage Donald Trump's presidency. Trump is being undermined and sabotaged. Judge Napolitano issued a warning to Trump. He says, drain the deep state, AKA the shadow government. About Michael Flynn's conversation with the Russian ambassador, he says, big deal. These people have these kind of conversations all the time. The conversation is not the issue. The fact that it was taped and leaked is the issue. He says there are elements in the government and intelligence community that are trying to undermine Trump because he is, quote, a threat to their power center. And striking out at Flynn was a way to humiliate the president. So Trump is being sabotaged, all right, but I'm not sure it's leftist activists commanded by Obama doing it. I'm not sure that the 30,000 amount to an army. You can go to Organizing for Action yourself and see that to join this fight, all you have to do is give your email. Signing up uh, with an email is not exactly the same thing as enlisting in an army. And while they may be willing to protest, it doesn't mean they're willing to go to war. So what are they trying to accomplish? Standing in solidarity for immigration reform. Now here's what they're doing. They're fasting. Fast for families. These people are going without food. I don't think they're going to make very good soldiers in the upcoming civil war if they're starving themselves. Uh, don't forget, these are Democrats. Democrats are anti-gun. So what are they going to be armed with anyway? What do they have for ammunition? Ready? Aim. Fire! I can smell it from over here. That's the sound of my troops in action. Power to the people. So these Democrats are still trying to push their agenda. Just because Obama's not president, it doesn't mean they're going to just sit back. And Obama is still very, very active. I mean, he was just the president. So he has a lot of influence and he's using this influence to or get, organize people, to gather them and to teach them how to organize themselves and how to organize in their communities to promote this agenda. They're trying to convert people to their cause. They're trying to put pressure on Congress to pass the kind of laws they would like to see. So what I see happening here is uh, a piece on the New York Post, which passes through Alex Jones' <laughs> InfoWars machine. And by the time it gets to uh, Silver Doctors, Obama's preparing for civil war. This is not um, so much civil war as it is politics. So uh, that's uh, what I see here, not exactly civil war, but uh, a kind of cold war, a political cold war. 
And the real sabotage to Trump's presidency is coming from inside the government, not from Obama's activists. And uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for giving me a thumbs up. Thanks for listening to me, and I'll see you next time.